Mathematics, it's Vanessa and Ashley and we're here to teach you the game called Array Hooray. Hopefully you've watched our chocolate bar video to learn about arrays. Arrays are sets of equal rows and columns that you can use to represent multiplication sentences. So for this game it's quite fun and easy to play like most of our games. Super low prep, all you need is one piece of paper two color markers and some dice. You can choose depending on the skill level of your students or the availability of dice you have in your classroom or at home. You can either use six sided dice, nine sided dice, 12 sided dice. Uh, you could use cards, ace to 10 or ace to queen, which would be uh, 12. You could do those. Um, the object of the game is to be the person who at the end of the game has mo the most area covered in your color. So you're going to roll some of the higher numbers to get the bigger products. And how the game works is you and your partner take turns of rolling the dice, multiplying them together, drawing out the array, and then figuring out the product. Side of dice. I'm gonna roll the dice. Oh, I'm gonna be making a four by six array. So I'm gonna be coming down four boxes. I'm gonna be going over one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I'm gonna write in the middle, four times six equals, now if I already know my multiplication facts, I can just write it there. If I'm still learning them, that's okay. Uh, this is a great way to learn some of your facts. You can just count, and whatever the area inside is, so count the boxes, it will be the answer. So I've got one, two, three, so I'll, actually I'm gonna count by, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I know six plus six is 12. Another six or six is 12, and 12 plus 12 is 24. So I'm gonna fill that in there. And now it's actually, it's your turn. Ooh. Okay, I got three times six, or three equal groups of six. And now Ashley can do it anywhere yeah. on the board that she would like. I'm gonna go right here. So one, two, three, and I'm gonna also go across six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and inside I know Three um, equals a six. So I know six, twelve, eighteen is the product. And I'm gonna go three times six equals eighteen. All right, so we're gonna each do one more roll for this demonstration. Oh, I got two times two. I'm gonna maybe build off my box here. Nice little two by twoer. Now, if at any time you don't have space to write your multiplication inside, you can just also write it on the side. That's okay. So two times two, and I know that is four because two plus two is four. And when you um. Ooh, oh, nice. I got six equal groups of six. I am just going to attach on to what I already have. So two, four, six. By two, four, six. Go up. Um, I'm just going to do some mental math here. I know that if three times six is 18 and do that twice, I know 18 plus 18 is 36, but I could also count each individual square one by one to get up to the answer to the product, which is 36. So six times six equals 36. Nice cool. job. All right, so you would continue playing this game uh, either until time is up or until you, there's no other spaces where you can fit an array that you roll. And then you'd look at the paper and you'd see whoever had the most area covered with their color would win. Um, as an added challenge, if you wanna really challenge yourself, you could then take the product of each of your arrays and add it together to find out the total value or the total uh, area that you covered, if you wanted an exact number. That is awesome!